friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're going to make venison veggie casserole for the freezer. Okay, what you're going to need is two pounds of cubed venison. You can substitute beef, stew beef. You're going to need two peppers. Uh, I've chosen yellow and orange. One large whole sliced onion two cloves of garlic, a whole bunch of blanched broccoli, uh, about three quarters of a pound of cheese, some half and half cream, some mushrooms, some steak spice, and some egg noodles. Let's get started. You're also going to need a buttered casserole pan. Now I've got my skillet heated up with olive oil and I would go ahead and toss your venison or beef with steak spice. I pre-seasoned mine before it even went in the freezer. But I am going to add just a little bit more steak spice and I had some olive oil in the bottom of this pan as well. While that's browning up, go ahead and get your water boiling and par cook your noodles. Don't cook them all the way, just par cook them. Let's give it a couple of squirts of Worcestershire sauce. I'm also going to give it a little squirt of Bragg soya sauce. It's non-GMO and it's organic. It's the only soya sauce I use. All right, we'll be back when this is all browned up and our noodles are parboiled. Okay, now that our venison's almost browned up, let's go ahead and add our mushrooms. And then our peppers, onions, and garlic. Now we really don't want to cook them the peppers, onions, and garlic. We just want them to kind of wilt and blanch a little bit. So for that reason, I'm just going to cover this and let it and turn it down and let it wilt for about 10 minutes. Okay, that looks good. Let's build this puppy. Okay, into my buttered casserole dish. I'm using a slotted spoon because I want to reserve the juice. So we're just going to spoon in a nice thick layer of our vegetables and our venison. Oh, this smells. I wish you guys could smell this. Now I'm going to do a smaller one for Papa and I for supper. Okay, so here is our meat and veg. Now we're going to take our egg noodles and we're just going to bust these up over top. And then the broccoli. Now the broccoli has been blanched so that it's not going into the freezer raw. You want a nice even layer. And don't be afraid to press it down because our gravy is going to be thin enough to get in all the nooks and crannies. Now, this is the juice from our meat, vegetables. And we've just turned it up and we're gonna bring it to a simmer. Everybody was wondering why I was making these holiday casseroles without a lot of vegetables. Well, I'm going to tell you why. My sister-in-law, Karen, does not like vegetables. But that's okay. Now we're just going to splash some half and half cream in here. Okay. Now let's take this and pour our gravy, or most of it, right over top. I'm going to go ahead and bake this little one for Papa and I. Now, it doesn't look like a lot of liquid, but that's okay because the broccoli is going to make more and your par-cooked egg noodles are going to absorb a lot of that juice. So now we're going to take our cheese and put a nice layer of marble, grated marble cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. If you like spicy, you go ahead and use pepper jack or jalapeno or Tex three cheese, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'm going to wrap it and put it in the freezer. In the meantime, I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese to this and I'm gonna bake it for supper and you're gonna see how Papa likes it. All right, let's get our little one out of the oven. Oh my goodness. Let's get Papa to the table. This is venison veggie casserole. Mm. 
as usual. It's awesome. Thank you, baby. This is the Mr. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, why spend all your holiday time cooking when you can make it ahead and freeze it?